statement um, about where I feel like we're at right now. And then hopefully, once we do our webinar and we, um, we break for lunch and we come back, we'll really be able to kind of focus on our 2014 goals and short term on that. Um, when I, um, as I was campaigning for the chairmanship position, and throughout my campaign, I had four primary uh, issues that I wanted to make sure that we were addressing. Um, and I honestly do believe that these issues have all been addressed. They're not complete. I'm not convinced that even um, that they will ever be actually complete. But I think there are items that we will continue to work on. It's focuses and things that we have to have for our community to continue to make our community as good as we can possibly make it. Some of those, uh, several of those issues have been touched on here. Uh, there's been a lot of discussion about it, and I'd like to just we'll kind of remind you a couple of them. First thing, of course, a pro business um, atmosphere inside our community. We have touched on that. We've talked about businesses and licenses from that standpoint. As I said, we need this community, local government, needs a can-do attitude. We need to, the first answer out of the box is, should never be, you can't do that. That's right. Um, it should be, let's see what we can do to help you do what you want to do. Um, I have seen that actually in action. Um, I've seen Mr. Pritchard uh, trying to work through a process, to try to resolve a process to be open-minded about it and to say, well, let's look and see how, working with the current regulations or the current ordinance that we have, how can we make this happen? Um, I think as long as we continue on that focus, continue working in that direction, I think the, um, uh, the idea of the, the thing with the pro-businesses, I think we will continue to be able to, uh, to make that work. That's not something that's gonna always be fixed but it is something that we always need to be focused on. We need to be moving in that direction that this community is always appropriate to be in. <coughs> Roads and infrastructure. Well, without a doubt, the key to roads and infrastructure was getting Floss 7 passed. We were very successful for that. I commend this community, I commend the citizens, and I commend this commission, and I commend certainly um, the uh, committee that worked very, very hard to make Floss 7 and get it. Successful, uh, successfully passed. But by doing that, we'll be able to maintain our existing roads and improving our existing infrastructure. That's one thing that we have to do. We've got to make sure that all of these, as many of the roads as we possibly can, that we can keep them safe as we can and continue again to have the infrastructure in place that within a reasonable amount of investment that we will be prepared for when growth does begin to pick back up. It's slow now, and it will be a slow growth as it comes, and by far, by any means. Slow growth is the best growth, growth that you can get because it's controlled. I don't ever want to see Lowndes County in a situation that we are out of control with growth because that's not good for our community or, or any of our infrastructure uh, that we have. So as long as we have some good controlled growth, and we have a plan for that growth, I think that that's extremely important. But again, SPLOSH 7 is extremely important to give me a task that help us in the future as we prepare for, for that. So that takes care of our roads and infrastructure. Again, this is something that's not gonna be fixed. This is a ongoing, long-term, constant focus that you have to be focused on as county commissioners to be able to move forward and keep these things uh, in the forefront. Good communication. You know, there's a lot of discussion, discussion about good communication. Well, what does good communication mean? Does it mean being able to pick up the telephone and not have it crack? Well, no, it's not. What I mean by communication is the fact that we are communicating good with other local governments, whether it be local governments that's within inside our, our boundaries of Lowndes County with our cities, or whether it's other counties and other cities that within those towns, the original aspect. I do feel very, very confident um, 
that that is improved. We're moving forward um, with communication from a regional basis for Lowndes County. Keeping in mind that Lowndes County is, um, it, it, is a major hub for this area. We probably look at a minimum 10 or 15 county area when you take in North Florida that this community benefits from those counties and from the relationship that we have with them with, with uh, Mount County being that hub. So again, working with those folks, they do contribute to our wealth in our county by coming into our businesses and, uh, and spending money. They come into our community for work. And so again, working with them very, very closely and, uh, and being having a good open communication is extremely important. Um, I'll use an analogy that um, the mayor and I, have, Mayor Gale and I have talked about. We know that there's issues that he and I cannot agree with. We know that there's some things though that we can agree, we should agree for the better of this community and we should be working together. Those are the focuses that we have. But we also know that when we can't work together, we understand that and we know that there's some grounds that we just don't, we're just not common and it's just not going to happen. Um, but it is also important to this community. And again, as I said, it's no different than the, than, than the appearance physically that you see when you move into this county. There's also an appearance that folks have about how this community functions, how it proceed how your local governments work together and how our uh, schools work together the whole picture you have to have uh, good communication to be able to work through this process those things are improved um, i believe that um, i'll continue to work in those areas to try to to, to continue to improve them again it's not something that's going to be finish tomorrow. This is, as long as I am successful here and as long as I'm in office, those, those would be the things that I'll be working on. I think that's important for the chairman to work in those areas. And again, the other item that I had when I was campaigning was wise use of existing tax dollars. I think that is extremely important. Um, we're talking about some things that's going to cost the county some revenue to do, for example, the website. The key is here, though, is that is spending the money to do this, is it beneficial and will it move this county forward? Those are the things that you have to decide on when you begin to make investments in your community, is that is that the case? Is it better for this community? Is it better for the citizens that you make the investment so that everybody will be better served? Um, I do believe that if we're, that hopefully we'll be able to work through this process and that this, you'll find that this website will be part of that. It will be part of what will make this community better. It will allow the citizens to interact with local government better, easier, throughout the process. So again, I encourage you to keep, your, keep an open mind about it, take a look at it, and uh, let's see, uh, see how this, uh, this is going to work. So at this time, we're right here at 11, so I'm going to give a page a minute or two to get signed up and get, get in and get in online, and then we'll, uh, we'll watch this webinar. No, thank you.